Here we'll take a look how to work with Firebase messaging for Android device, Flutter Android, and we'll see how to work with Android foreground and background messages. Well, to first work with this, wherever you're following from me and what kind of application, it doesn't really matter. Go ahead and install these two plugins, Firebase messaging. Now this one is to get notification from the Firebase and this one is to for showing on our mobile phone itself. So that is Flutter local notifications. But the basic theory I'm going to explain, it would work without this as well. But it's recommended to use them together because you'd be able to view your messages. Anyway, so now we'll come into our uh, main.dart over here and in our main function at the top, we have to ensure that we are calling this two over here. So especially this one. So it would help you initialize the Firebase and related libraries. And at the same time, you also have to make sure that on your Android app, you have Google services.json, which means that you have already created a Firebase app on the Firebase console. Okay, now let's take a look at this section over here. Now, in general, if you want to work with Firebase messaging, you want to call this one, okay? Now I'm calling this inside try close, a try catch close. It doesn't have to be like that, but it's better. So you can just simply go ahead and get all the initial messages from Firebase. And based on that, you can do some checking. But if you don't need to do checking, just go ahead and call and get the messages. That's fine. And it's also recommended to use at the beginning. Now over here, I'm doing some extra checking, which you might not need to do in your case. So you can skip that. But do remember that this remote message over here, it does contain a lot of information from Firebase. So you can go through them and use them in your app as you need, okay? And after that over here, we have this initialize method, which is coming from this helper function, which we'll take a look very quickly. Now this is a helper function. And inside this, we have few methods. Now the method we are going to work with is basically this one for now okay initialize and this is being called from here as you can see and that's a static method and at the top over here we have created this object which is called flutter local notifications plugin based on the plugin that we have installed and it is recommended you do it at the top it's globally available okay so we'll take a look in detail over here in this function a little later but one thing we can do first and which would be very useful that we have this on background message now this on background message is coming from our firebase messaging itself so firebase message has a function which is called on background message and it takes a callback function or callback handler so this is what we have over here now, over here we are just simply printing the information that we say that we have a background message and the related information. Now, this information actually we expect to get back from Firebase, from uh, Firebase console. Uh, well, now how to get it from Firebase console, we'll uh, take a look very soon. So we have few information over here, as you can see. So we are looking at this three information, title body and a title log, okay? Now, if you have to have background message or when your app is in background, then you have to go ahead and do it like this. You have to call the method Firebase messaging and then call on back on background message. Okay, now this is what we'll take a look first. Okay, now over here we have our app ready up and running. And at the same time, I believe our app has printed a token. Okay, that's a device token. Now, um, I'll grab this device token. And first what I'll do, I'll go ahead and post it from postman okay now over here i'm using this fmc apis from google and uh, well if you have seen my other tutorials you know that they take uh, json body and over here two means to where you want to send and uh, you can also mention the priority and the message that should be showed in our app itself okay so here we are sending body title and title log key which corresponds to this three section, this three items that we are going to print, okay? So what will happen? Let's see. So right now our app is on foreground, so we'll put it in background, okay? Let's go ahead and put it in background. So this is the app. Now I've just copied this token, so I'll put it over here. So here we are, let's go ahead and send a message. All right, we do see that over here we have this notification icon and over here as well as we see a 
badge okay which means that we have a notification and if we pull it down over here we'll see that so this is what we got this is a title and this is a body okay so this is the information that we are trying to print okay and at the same time we do see that we have information successfully printed over here now what it has to do over here because now if we go and check we'll see that it says uh, this one like on background so this is the information that we just printed okay so the idea is if you want to get notification when your app is on the background then you have to go ahead and call that okay all right so that was for background okay now what if our app is on foreground okay now this is where this is comes into play this one okay so over here we are initializing okay so let's go ahead and click on this and we already have seen that this is over here okay now there's a lot of information it may look scary but i'll explain step by step so it won't be that scary okay all right so first inside this we see that uh, this is the function uh, initialize function okay all right now inside this first we initialize our android settings then our settings and we take both of the settings and we combine them together create a new settings and that is the settings we pass to the initialize function which is coming from flutter local notifications plugin from this object okay now this object actually we are sending it from here okay so it's available in this function now it has a method called initialize so that's where we are sending this okay so here we have this initialize settings okay now one thing you have to rem okay i'll talk about this very soon which is very very important so anyway now inside this as you see we have uh, another three functions that we are calling one is called set foreground notification persistence options now this is for apple okay now for apple or ios devices if your app is on the foreground and you want to get the notification you have to call this one and implement this three option otherwise you won't be able to get okay so it's very important that you go ahead and initialize this so you can directly call from firebase messaging instance and you're good to go okay now you do have to see that sometimes we do firebase messaging instance and sometimes we do firebase message then an object the object could be very different in this case this is on message as in this case this is on message opened so this is the thing you need to take care now well what happens on android if your app is on the foreground and if you want to get messages from firebase then you have to go ahead and call this callback function inside this it takes uh function and function itself takes a parameter which is called remote message that means that the message is coming from firebase and you can do whatever you want first we are printing the messages as well as the three items that we have seen okay now our app right now uh, is background but we'll make it let's see now we'll click on this and now our app is in the foreground now we'll send a message from our postman and we'll see how it looks like and we'll see that this has been printed instead of the one that we have seen earlier where we print background okay let's go ahead and check it but this time we'll just change this value just for fun okay all right that's all now over here we'll see that okay we have this one okay and we have this message as well okay and it's successfully printed success one and now over here if we go and check we see that on message okay so so what that means that if your app is on foreground which is uh, visible then this method gets called the one we have seen over here okay so this is the method on message gets called now inside this callback function you can do a lot of work that you need to do i mean a lot of things you could actually do okay so a lot of background work whatever you need you can do them and you're good to go okay now one thing i need to tell you over here this one now this refers to the notification icon now this icon should be same as the one you mentioned in your android manifest.xml now regarding this one your android manifest.xml configuration is very important you do have to make sure that this information are all correct you have internet connection and as well as com coming down from here actually this for information which is channel ID notification icon 
and uh, notification click and messaging event so this few information are quite important if you have wrong settings actually you might get error but these are actually pretty similar across all the app like in this case you just have to change your channel name it could be any random name you use but you have to use it everywhere wherever you see the channel name or channel id okay now this notification icon the one that we have seen over here okay all right now you also have to make sure that you have this icon actually so you have to have this icon inside this app main and then res and inside this drawable over here okay so you see i have this icon and this icon is better it's png with transparent background okay and it refers to this drawable okay otherwise you will get error okay all right yeah so actually that's if you follow the steps you should not have any problem getting messages whether your app is on the background or foreground thank you so much